Hey everyone out there, I want to do a video to all of you. It's going to be a little long video. Uh, I'm going to cover different things about TV programs, what is happening in Denmark right now, about the end time, what is happening, because it's not only Denmark, what we are seeing right now. Talk about the last week I have gone through and, and what God is, is saying and doing right now. First, I want to say I'm, I'm sitting here in a prayer room at the Jesus Center. Um, it was where I could get a little peace and time to do this video with you. First, I want to say thank you for all of you who have been praying for me the last week. I've been following the crazy time we are going through here in Denmark with the national TV and all of that. It has helped a lot. Uh, I can only sit here and smile because God has just done something I, I couldn't imagine. Uh, because a few days ago I was not smiling. Uh, I was uh, really uh, almost ready to give up. For you who don't know what is happening right now, I did a video about it a week ago. Uh, we have been in TV programs. We are in t three uh, TV uh, uh, programs that has been sent three times. Uh, in Denmark, uh, on the biggest TV station in Denmark, and. Um, the next program is going to be shown next week and, and there have been crazy time. And, and for you who don't know Denmark, Denmark is a very small country with under 6 million people. We have like two big TV stations, uh, one and two, and I'm, uh, I'm on that number two there. And uh, it's something people are talking about. This has been a big thing in Denmark. It has been on the news. I've been on news three times. It has been on news. We have had uh, ministers from uh, Danish politics who have uh, been out on the news and talking about it. It has been in the newspaper. It's been all over the place. What is happening here in Denmark is that uh, we, um, I'm part of a program where I thought they wanted to do a a program about me and the last reformation but instead they have another agenda they are doing a program about different ministries who have been going wrong and they mix it all together but i also saw that the agenda was actually more to fight against christianity to actually forbid what we are doing in praying for people in cast now demons especially praying for kids and cast now demons it will start there and it has been really, really clear for me this week that we are living in the end time. I've, I've never felt it so close. I've never felt persecution like this before uh, on my life, on our life. So, uh, yeah, uh, where to start? Have you not seen the other video I did a week ago? Maybe go in and see that. Uh, the first program was shown. I was on news. A political was up. Minister was up talking about it. And then the next program came. And in the next program, when I saw that, I just broke down. I was like, they, they really managed to put me in so bad light. The way they have cut it up, uh, put it together. At one time, uh, I'm into you and I ask, Torben, do you ever cast demons out of kids? And I say, no. And then you see me pray for a lot of uh, teenagers who get set free. And the way they put it up is like, I am a big, big liar. And I have been told that from many people the last weeks, in the last days. <sighs> uh, what I really said was, no, I have not seen deliverance on kids the way I see with grown up, where they lay down and, and go crazy and speak other voices because kids are more innocent. That was what I said. And when you are older, you start to open up for the demonic world through sex and drugs and, 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 and occult things. It was what I said, but it was not what they shown. So the way they cut it together, they put me up on national TV as a big liar. In the end of the program, they were showing commercial for the next program where I said I never take medicine from people. And then somebody who had been working with us was saying the opposite, that I'm taking medicine from people and I destroy people all over the world wherever I come. Plus, you have an undercover journalist who is filming me where it looked like I'm saying that she should throw away her medicine. And I was put in the worst light one more time, like a big, big liar. 
when I saw that, I just broke down. I, I cannot describe the experience. The only reason I can smile today is because God came later that night. But I just broke down. Try to imagine to be put on national TV with proof, like you're a big, big liar. When I saw that, I was like, I'm finished. That was my life in Denmark. Like that, that was that. It was, it was the sense I, I felt that my wife started to cry and we were like, what is happening here? And I, I tried, to, I really tried to do it I try to be an example. I will try it. Like here at the Jesus Center, we have a lot of rules. Like when people come and sign in on a school, we have to agree on it and pray about it. And if, if some say no, and I say yes, I don't just get my will because we believe Jesus is the head and he speaks to us. So I don't want to misuse my power. That is one thing. So we are very clear about that. Another thing is with money and finances that I get a normal pastor salary, I drive a normal car, I rent a small apartment here, a house, kind of house. And, and I try to live a simple life. I really try to live a whole life. So I don't try, I really try to be aware with power, with, with money and with, with sex and, and girl and all that. I am faithful with my wife. So we, we try and also with medicine, we don't take medicine away from me. We try, try, try because I've seen other ministries in Denmark go wrong. And suddenly I was just put in the worst light ever. Like it was just like, it was crazy. We broke down, we were crying and we thought that was it. And my wife, Lena, she was like, I, we, I need to see God now. And many of you have been praying for me and many have encouraged us and many have sent Psalm 80, 91 and read this and read this and read this. And thank you for that. That means a lot. But at the same time, when we are standing there and our world have just crumbled down and I've been put on national TV in a little country like a big, big liar and everyone is talking about it. It's on the newspaper and politic uh, ministers is talking about all of that. You need something more. Uh, and it, God came. <laughs> what happened was in the evening, God somehow spoke to us about Christ's suffering, about taking part of Christ's suffering. And, and I read here uh, from First uh, Peter, there's here... Uh, Beloved, do not be surprised of the fire and trial that has come upon you to test you. At sorts, as it was something strange that happened to you. But rejoice as you are sharing Christ's suffering, that you may also rejoice and be glad when the glory is revealed. And then he said that we should not suffer for doing wrong. But when we suffer for do what is right, then it's something else. It's a blessing. I experienced that. It's crazy. I experienced that. In the evening, I was out praying and I was like, there was, I was crying. I was down. I was like, what to do? And suddenly it just came. What I experienced right now with Everyone in Denmark talking about me and thinking the worst thing. It's nothing compared to what Jesus experienced. He experienced the same. He had somebody close to him who was lying about him. He had people lying, uh, putting him public and, and mocking him. He had what I just experienced, but more. And it just did something in me that was strong. Like I could feel Jesus. I could, I, I know what he gone through in a different way. Like I, I could almost imagine people who have been in army, who have been in a war together and who have gone to war. Those people get a very close relationship with each other. Why? Because they have been 
suffering together. They, they know the feeling where people have never been in a war, never cannot imagine that closeness two people in a war together can get. And it was actually what I experienced. Something changed in me. Something had happened this week. I, I know a little more about what Jesus went through. I, I feel it. I experience it. And I'm good. I, I'm actually good. It's crazy. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. But I was there on TV. The day after, I went in to see the next program that's coming next week. And I was with the national TV and I was seeing that. And when I came in, it was, it was weird because I came in and they put some paper on the table and they asked me a question. Do you know that woman? I said, no. Do you know her? No, I don't think so. You have been praying for her. I, I don't know. I prayed for many people, but she had not been on the school. I haven't sat down and talked with her. I think I, I don't know her. You have laid hands on her and she's mental sick today because you lay hands on her. And I was saying, like, what? What are you saying? And it didn't make sense for me. I'm like, what are you saying? Like, you don't get mental sick by somebody putting hands on you and pray for you. We pray for people all over the world and every church are laying hands on each other, hopefully, and pray for each other and pray for people. That is part of being a Christian. And he just keep going and ask Christian. And I'm like, what, what is his agenda? What is he doing right now? But I understood that later and I'll come back to that. And then I saw the program with the people and family we have been working with who we had so many problems with and in the end we asked them to leave and now they are coming on national TV and just telling a lot of lies about me and about the last reformation and everything. After that, then they start to continue asking questions about praying for people and say, Tom, you are a baker. You cannot pray for people. Who, have, who allowed you to pray for people? You are a baker. You don't have any education. And they kept going. Labor was with me in the room. He, he shouted, the Bible says we should do it. And I was thinking, what is going on? And there it became clear. This is not about me. This is not about this program. They want to make it illegal to pray for people, especially under 18. They start there. They want to make it illegal if you are not in the uh, proof church, let's say like that. I know it's happening in Bulgaria right now by law. They want to, in Bulgaria, do that if you're not registered, if you're not under the Catholic Church, you cannot do anything. You are, you are, you are illegal somehow. And, and, and there is a lot of persecution by law happening in Bulgaria right now. And that is also happening in Denmark right now. And I'm in the middle of it. I'm standing here. And police is, is standing up and talking about they want to remove the kids for some of those family who are extreme. And by extreme are saying praying for, ki praying for sick people and casting out demons. This is extreme in Denmark. It's going to be extreme in Denmark. They want to remove the kids for those people who are doing those crazy things. Crazy things, obeying Jesus, praying for sick people and cast out demons. And I just saw it. And it became so clear. And, 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 and I start, start to talk with other people about it. And there's a journalist and other people. It's, it's, we are living in end times. It, it's so clear right now what is happening. And they're trying to change the law. They're trying to come after us. And I'm thinking right now, where is Denmark in five or ten years? If this is continue like that, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. So this week has been crazy. At the same time, what I'm seeing in Denmark is that a big part of the free churches they're like, no, no, we, we don't do like that. They try to wash their hands and no, no, no. We, we, we don't cast demons out of people like that. We, we don't do like that. No, no, no. And they're, they're drawn away from it and say, no, it's just Tom and those crazy people and something like that. People are standing up and saying something like that on TV. But what is also happening is that then I've seen many Christians in those churches who was like, but Tom are doing what we should all do. Like, what do Jesus say? Jesus said, go out, design, follow those who believe in my name, they should cast out demons. Why are you after Torben? 
because he cast out demons, because I've been in this Pentecostal church for 10 years, and I've never seen one demon come out of people. <laughs> and people start to wake up. So in the middle of this storm, I mean, the most crazy storm, I'm put on a, as a liar on national TV. I get hate mails like I've never done before. People write to me on Facebook and mock me and crazy things. At the same time, I'm in that storm. The law is the talk about changing the law. And at the same time, we have a division happening in church where people are frustrated and tired of lukewarm Christianity and looking at the persecution and the lies they're putting at me and saying, we want this life. We want this life. We want this life. So it's crazy. Something is happening in Denmark I have never experienced before. Oh, it's, it's a very, very interesting time. And thank you for praying for me. It's not over yet. Next week, I'm going to be on program again. And next week is actually the worst of all programs for us. Uh, we're going to put being put in a very bad light. And uh, what the response will be, I am not sure of. Uh, I know, um, I don't know what the future bring, but, but, um, um, I cannot say more about right now, to be honest, because I know something. But I have to be careful with my words right now, because uh, you are not the only one who's seen this video. There is also a lot of journalists and other people who are looking at me right now and looking at what is happening in Denmark. So I cannot say, but I, in, in let's wait some weeks and I will come out and I will go more in details with, with what God is doing. But I have to just wait to 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 next week is over at least uh, continue pray for me continue pray for my family uh, it's hard crazy hard i would say it's, it's the only reason i smile is because jesus is here and i really see it i feel it i i, I experience my joy in him and it's real i'm not taking off a face and something it's real it's, it's real I, I couldn't imagine this <laughs> Uh, but at the same time, it is hard, and and it's, it's special to see yourself being 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 put out, and and everyone is discussing your name and talking about you, and and people don't trust me anymore, and some people who didn't trust me see that hey, I'm real, I'm honest, and they now trust me, and, and it's it's crazy. Thank you for your prayer. Sorry, it's a little um, messy video maybe because um, yeah. Um, I'll say more later. Continue praying for us, continue praying for Denmark. This is not about de just little Denmark and it's not just about me. This is about the end time we are entering into. It's about Europe. It's about uh, Christ and uh, take part of his suffering and uh, judgment that's going to come upon the church. This is going to split the churches in Denmark. What is happening right now, for or against, is going to divide the sheep for the goats. Is really interesting. Uh, God bless you, uh, and and sorry. Uh, yeah, you can ask Christian, and I will come in, or or I will do a video in a few in, after next week when when there's more quiet and and it's, it make more sense what I'm saying maybe. Yeah, yeah. God bless you. Bye bye.